Well, hello, Dave on base, back for another three minute review. Uh-oh, we got some, look at that glare. Whoa, baby. That is from the, uh, the light that I'm using. And, uh, and the shiny fingerboard on this DeMarc Omega base. So I'm not sure if that is gonna be acceptable or not. But uh, I'm going to go with it and maybe try to avoid it somehow by where I'm holding it. I don't know. It's freaking me out. There we go. We can get it right there. There, you can see the whole thing right there. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be one of those days. Anyway, um, so what I have here is a DeMarc Omega 5. It's a single cut. And I am not nuts about single cut bases because once you get up here, you know, the stuff behind there, you, you can't, you, I'm, yeah. So that is my only drawback with this base. It's fantastic base. It sounds great. It looks cool. Um, and I'm somewhat obsessed with DeMarc because they, they are just really good bases at a really good price. Now, I'm normally a Sadowski guy. My main bases are Sadowskis. Um, this particular base might be for sale soon just because uh, it's a single cut and I, I just, I'm not going to use it very much for that because I can't stand and play it. I think you'd have to hold it pretty high to be comfortable playing it. And I am not a high holder. I hold my bass fairly low when I play live and I play live and standing a lot. So that's my only drawback here. Other than that, these are fantastic bases. The place that you buy them from here in the United States is called Sound for Less. They're great to deal with. You can buy through them on Reverb, but you know what I usually do is just go right to them because they're just fantastic. They'll get it out quick. Um, they are, they're just great to deal with. I can't say enough good things about them. But at any rate, this particular base, you know how it is with three minute reviews. I got my little kitchen timer, five bucks at Amazon. And uh, I, once I, just, once I hit the start button, from that point on, I'll play and, and it'll be three minutes worth of uh, actual playing uh, before the kitchen timer goes off and then my time is done. So anyway, before we get going on that though, volume, volume. Uh, here we have a mid-range switch. I think this is passive active. Uh, bass, mid and treble controls. And uh, let's get to playing it. I have it set up already as my favorite setting. Eh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Eee, I thought I did. Um, I have both pickups all the way up, uh, bass up, treble up, and mid up a little bit, and we're just going to start with that. All right, here we go. This is finger style, both pickups all the way up, and uh, a little bit of EQing. keep going but I only got three minutes um man this thing sounds amazing here I hope you can catch that here there the one thing that I usually like to do is back off the the bridge pickup a little bit especially if I'm gonna slap so this is backed off the bridge pickup and, and just slap B too. It's fantastic. It's just a really well built, plays great bass. Um, if I back off the neck pickup, you get more of a Chaco tone.
sure where the frequency switch is but uh, I usually leave it up because I like the mid to be a little louder when I'm hitting the A string I would think that switch down it's more frequency hits it a little higher and I, I don't know it's just not something that I use very much so um, that's kind of it for this bass. Uh, you got everything you need. It plays great. I love the DeMarc uh, basses in general. They have several other models. And I got 12 seconds, so I'm just going to play a little bit more fingerstyle very quick here. <laughs> If you like single cuts, you won't find a better one. And, uh, uh, and heck, this one might be for sale, so see the description uh, when you uh, watch this video, because if it is, I'll have it in there. And uh, um, the only reason for that is I can't get used to that. So if you have any questions, hit me up, and see you next time.